Hey, good morning. How are you? It is 3.09 in the morning. Let me tell you how this is how my day begins. First of all, let's talk about this. See this right here? I got this at Walmart and it's white chocolate. I can't have chocolate because I have tachycardia and any caffeine, too much of anything will set my heart off and I'll, it's bad. Uh, for those of you who don't know what tachycardia is, tachycardia is where the heart just takes off. And I have been have had episodes where my heart rate is normal. Then it goes from normal to straight to two. 10 was the highest I've ever been. So I don't do, and I'm not a big chocolate fan anyway, so I don't do a lot of chocolate, but I found these and I thought, okay, this is white, hot, white chocolate. So I can melt this down and have some white hot chocolate. You know, cause you can get white hot chocolate at Starbucks, too expensive. So what I did was took those, put some water in it, melted that white chocolate down works for me I love hot chocolate but I can't drink those I love it okay what I'm doing now is prepping getting my day started um, I'm making part of my seafood salad I'm gonna do the rest of it when I get to my daughter or she's house I've already got my let me show you I already got my shrimp and my um, crab meat together seasoned and um, I've already done that. And yes, I'm sitting down because my legs are hurting. Um, so this, I'm not doing everything. Let me tell you why. I'm not putting every, I don't, I'm not making the whole thing up because there's certain things I won't buy at my house. I won't buy Miracle Whip. I love Miracle Whip and I just keep eating that on everything. So I don't buy that at my house. I don't buy bread at my house. I never ever buy bread because if I buy bread, I'll eat it. So there's certain things I just won't get, like I said. So I gotta go babysit for Arshia today. So while I'm babysitting for Arshia, um, I'll finish making up this. Uh, ooh, dang! I'll finish making up this uh, seafood salad. I, might, I wanted to do a little different and put some pasta in it for some reason. I feel like I want pasta in it. But I'm just going to do the, like, the bare essentials. Um, I've got my onions. No, I'm not throwing it on the floor. I have a trash thing right here. But the people, girl, you just don't understand how people get when they get on on, on the computer. They'll be, did you see her? She was cooking, throwing stuff on the floor. People, people are something else. So I do have a sack that's down here. Just catching all my trash. So yes, my day starts very, very early. Actually, I've been up for about an hour and a half now taking care of some business. Um, my friend Scotia was telling her husband that I don't sleep. I said, yes, I do. She said, Robin sleeps maybe <laughs> two or three hours. And then she's up the rest of the time. I am because actually I got some stuff that I'm creating. When I'm in creative mode, I can't sleep because it's on my mind. And I got some, I got about four different projects that I'm getting ready to work upon. So I'm gonna make sure that I am, that I got it together. And I know when it's time for me to do something because I, d I had to make sure I was recording. I know when it's time for me to do something because it's just, it's constantly on my mind. It's like, I can't go to sleep, I can't, while I'm awake, I think about it. I sleep, I dream about it. So I know these projects I have to get done. I have um, my yearly, six years things that I want to do. I have some goals that I have set for 
myself for the first six months. They're coming along very well. I'm just trying to, you know, you gotta keep a, I just gotta make sure I'm not doing too much, you know, cause to what, what is, seems like there's too much to you guys is really too much to me, but I just wanna make sure that I'm not overloading myself. So a lot of people are like, uh, you're doing too much, you don't do, but you don't know what I do. You don't know what I can handle. So you can't say I'm doing too much. Just sit back, sit back and watch. Cause I know you're watching. That's a crazy thing. I mean, people have a lot of stuff to say, negativity. My cousin's getting ready to start her business and I told her, you are gonna have, your main situation is, and people can say, you just need to ignore them. You can ignore them. And, but people, it doesn't matter if you ignore them or not. People are going to say things. There's going to be doubters. There's going to be people who just don't feel like that you are capable of doing what you're doing. So why are you doing this? They they want you to sit back and do nothing. They want they expect you to do nothing. Anyway, I was telling my cousin, you know, she's going to start this business and I'm encouraging her. Just keep going. You'll have nature. You'll have family members who will put you down and make you feel like that you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Um, you have family members that try to make you think that they won't support you. But you just gotta, like I told her before, I said, listen, I don't expect my family and friends to support me. I have people that I don't even know that buy from me. Because like I said, you got people who are doubters. And they don't know why you're doing what you're doing. But uh, just keep on going. I hope that makes sense. So, uh, listen. In your salad, you can put whatever you want to put in it. I'm going to put in what I want to put in it. I know what I want. I know I want some onions. I know I want some bell peppers. I know I want some crab meat. I know I want some um, celery. I know I want... Um, my Old Bay seasoning. I know I want all those things. So that's what come, goes in my salad. The celery doesn't do much. It gives it a little, you can smell the celery, but that crunch is what you're looking for. And so hopefully tomorrow I will remember to post this or what it looks like when it's done. Cause this is just like prep is what I'm doing now prepping it so I can have it while I'm at our shoes house tomorrow because like I said I gotta babysit the baby tomorrow I remember sitting watching my mom cut up vegetables my dear friend you know who you are <laughs> brought me a chopper well she said it's in her amazon cart she brought my daughter one and um she told me she gonna get me one i'm still looking for it people wonder why are you up at three in the morning because i got work to do even when i'm done with this i got some stuff to do on the computer i've been on the computer for about an hour and a half like i said so i wanted to get off give my eyes a rest it off and uh, take a break because I was like, okay, that's a lot. Um, how do you guys make your, your seafood salad? And I'm not just killing it in my counter, I have a uh, uh, I forget what this is called, but I use them all the time. It's like a, it's like a cutting board, a clear cutting board. I know when I make this salad tomorrow, she is going to make sure that she eats some, or she loves seafood salad. Um, do you guys put whole shrimp in them? I don't, I always cut my shrimp up so I can have more shrimp while I'm eating it. Cause I want shrimp with every bite. So I always kind of cut my shrimp up in three or four pieces. Then once I'm done with this, I will put it in the freezer. Not in the freezer, in the refrigerator. 
after I put it in the refrigerator, it will be ready to go. It smells so good already. So all I gotta do is add the uh, mayonnaise to it. Add some dill, because I didn't have dill either. Add some dill and some lemon. And it will be done. And what kind of what kind of crackers do you guys use? Do you guys use crackers? I use rich crackers. You want a cracker that's going to hold up. So rich crackers or townhouse. Either one, but I believe I have townhouse. No, 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 no. I have rich crackers. That's what I have in there right now. So I'll take some of that with me because I don't know if she has any of that with her. I mean, at her house, so... And I want to give another shout out to Larissa. Larissa had a birthday yesterday, my middle daughter, my mini me. I forgot to post her picture too. I thought I had another whole shrimp. Oh, I did. I see. I knew I did. So here it is guys, it's right here, what I have in here is um, celery, onions, bell peppers, crab meat, and um, shrimp for my seafood salad. When I tell y'all this is so good, the seasoning that I put on here, it ain't no joke. For real, for real. Okay. Maybe tomorrow I can show y'all the end results. I think I want some more bell peppers in it. I love bell peppers. I can eat bell peppers by themselves. I used to take bell peppers and, you know, hollow it out. Take all the seeds and stuff out of it. And then I would put uh, ranch dressing on the inside of it and eat it like that. My friend, Bettina used to be like, you going to do what? I said, yep, that's what I'm going to do with it. I don't eat them like that as much anymore. Now, I do realize that a lot of people don't put bell peppers in their uh, seafood salad, but I do. I'm telling y'all, you, you know, eat it the way you want to eat it. Do it the way you want to do it. I don't use a lot of salt. I don't use a lot of pepper. I didn't start using salt on my food until I got older. I just didn't like it. I didn't like salt on my food. My mom said I used to cry when she would put salt on my food. I thought it was so nasty. I don't eat it as much now either, but I do put a little bit of stuff on it. Okay. So here it is. That's the seafood. That's the shrimp, the uh, crab meat, bell peppers, onions, bell peppers and onions, and celery. And so tomorrow I'll take it and I will put. Um, mayonnaise dill i don't think i think she might have dill paste if she does she has dill some relish or something like that that i can put in there that's just to give it a little twang and then if it's too twangy mm, too tart grab a little bit of sugar and some um light lemon and it's done and don't forget guys try this hot chocolate but it's not hot chocolate it's white hot chocolate how about that like I said, I got these at, they were a dollar, I think, dollar twenty something. The three white chocolate balls. And they say, falling for you. For, like, you know, when you're playing golf. That's what they, they're golf, they, they're shaped like golf balls. But they're white chocolate. 
and let me see how many calories there are. See if I can repeat this. How many cal oh, it's only 110 calories for three servings. Yeah, that's what I did. And then I, I put some water in it to, uh, I wanted it to melt, but I didn't want it to be too, because I, when I took a bite of it, it was really, really sweet. So I just put some water in it to kind of calm that down. So I put melt the balls in a cup with some water and I have white hot chocolate. All right, guys, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you can go to my Facebook page. Uh, you can go to my TikTok. It's all under Rosalind Friend. All of it, but Instagram is under Friend Rosalind. When they set it up, that's the way they did it. So we're just going to leave it just like it is. Um, you can go to my website to purchase anything. Uh, my books, my scarves and hats, uh, lip gloss, lashes. Mm, uh, my new product is called, uh, if you don't know, I did a... Uh, it's it's oil for your hair, for your scalp to, and it, uh, it's so good. I've had so many people talk about them really, really liking it. And I'm going to come out with another, something else to go along with it. But it's hair oil. You can do a silk press with it. You can do um, hot oil treatments with it. You can take it in, um, like, for those protective styles, put it on your scalp. So it, it'll really really enhance your scalp it'll really loosen, loosen up all that hair that you that you're not combing while it's braided it's gonna make sure that it's not mad up but you you know you gotta do what you gotta do you keep your hair up but don't keep it up too long where your hair is matting but this helps with the matting okay and it's called s m w sister oil and i named it after my mom and her sister's initials so it's savannah mary francis and willa may smw sister oil you can get that my website is rajay's r-a-z-j-a-s dash royalty dash lashes dot my shopify dot com okay thank you guys i'm out of here i got some stuff to do on the computer god bless you have a great day because my day is already started it is now 3.26 a.m. God bless you.